Hello, my name is Seth Russell, and I'm going to share with you a little bit about my life as a cellist. I currently live in Northern California in a little town called Vacaville, about an hour and a half drive from San Francisco, but I'm not from here. I'm from Greenville, South Carolina, and that's where I first started playing cello at age four. I started learning with the Suzuki method and went all the way through the Suzuki method into high school. In high school, I went to the Fine Arts Center in Greenville, South Carolina, and there I got to do orchestra, take chamber music classes, music theory, music history, um, really just get immersed in music, and especially chamber music. I loved it so much, it inspired me to want to pursue a career in music. And the first step of that was going to college. So for undergrad, I went to a school in upstate New York called Eastman School of Music, which I think of as pretty close to a Hogwarts for music. For my master's degree, I moved over to Boston, Massachusetts, where I went to New England Conservatory. Boston is an amazing city filled with so much good music and also uh, American history. After that, I ended up doing various projects and various jobs for a few years and eventually ended up going back to school to get a doctorate degree in music. Yes, those exist. I did a DMA, which is called a Doctorate of Musical Arts, which is basically the music performance doctorate as opposed to like a scholarly research PhD kind of doctorate. I did my doctorate at University of Texas at Austin and uh, enjoyed the land of tacos and coffee. Um, really enjoyed my time there. And I just recently finished and got my degree this past December. Throughout my education at all these different schools, I was really uh, lucky to be able to study with a lot of really great teachers, play with a lot of really great colleagues, um, go through some great programs and classes. Having a doctorate now qualifies me to apply for college level teaching jobs uh, to teach as a cello professor. Okay, time to go practice. So over the years, I've had some really cool experiences that I'm really thankful to have. Um, I've played with several, oh hello, played with several different orchestras, uh, including Discovery Ensemble in Boston, Houston, and Austin Symphony while I was in Texas, and Greenville Symphony for a season when I was back in Greenville. And that is actually where I met my wife, Chelsea. Also during my time in Boston, I was able to help some friends um, as they created a new chamber orchestra, a small orchestra called Phoenix. It was designed to um, have kind of untraditional programming, play in non-traditional venues like black box theaters and just be a little bit more casual and approachable to audiences who might not usually go to a formal symphony concert. When I was in Boston, I was also part of a string quartet called the Oceanus Quartet. And we were able to go on a tour of Taiwan because the other three members are Taiwanese. And that was a really awesome experience, I think for all of us. And I loved it because it combines some of my favorite things, playing in a string quartet, teaching, and traveling. I was able to serve as a guest professor for a year at University of Memphis in Tennessee, which is right there by the Mississippi River. And that involved teaching the university's cello studio, teaching some classes, and playing with the faculty quartet which is called the Chiruti Quartet. And that was also a really cool experience. I also do a fair amount of solo playing, usually in the form of solo recitals. And I've been really blessed to be able to do that twice in Carnegie Hall. I auditioned for a competition, and one year I won third, another year I won second. And part of the prize is getting to play in Carnegie Hall solo. So this is my practice room. A church right down the road from where I live was 
nice enough to let me use their sanctuary to practice in. And kind of in exchange, I record some videos for their church services. So I talked a little bit about things I've done in the past that I've really enjoyed in my career. What am I doing right now? Well, it's a, it's a good question. When I moved out here um, in December, I started getting connected with some of the local musicians, uh, started playing some house concerts, started playing with some of the local orchestras. And then, uh, of course, COVID hit in March and everything closed down, especially here in California. So I had to switch gears like every other musician. So since then, uh, me and my wife, who plays oboe, uh, we've been doing a lot of live stream concerts. Um, we've been doing them since March, and we have another one coming up soon, actually. And those have been a really nice um, outlet of performance when there's really no other outlet available to us. And it's allowed us to connect to both our friends here in town with us, people that live in New York, Boston, LA, Chicago. So of course, I've also been doing uh, a lot of practicing for those live stream concerts. And I've been learning a lot of new music for them because I'm limited to solo cello works and duets with my wife on oboe. So we've both been learning a lot of new music, which has been fun and challenging to try to learn new things and perform them. And I've been pulling out old things that I played a while ago for solo cello. So it's been um, an interesting and uh, challenging time, but it's, it's been good. Also, pretty much every musician has to do a pretty good amount of their own desk work. I'm always doing desk work for myself. Um, I'm my own marketer manager, publicist, which means I have to answer emails, create my own concerts, keep up with my own business expenses as a musician, publicize myself on social media, update my website, publish recordings, all of that stuff. I've done uh, some amount of arranging over the years and during these last few months, I've had more available time to work on arranging. So recently I published an arrangement of Samuel Barber's song called Sure on the Shiny Night. I arranged it for seven cellos and that was a really fun project because I got to uh, practice my skills as an arranger and I published that arrangement. You can buy the cheap music if you want to. I recorded it myself, all seven parts. I planned out the music video that I made. I also did the audio mixing and the video editing. So it was a lot of work for such a short piece, but I enjoyed kind of getting at a creative project from different angles using different uh, skills that I have. I'm also working on an arrangement of Starlight by Muse, which is not out yet, but will be out hopefully in the next two months or so. I've been doing a good bit of recording over the past couple of months. Some of that is for myself, and a good bit of it is also with other people, which has been really fun. So almost weekly, I've been recording with my friend, Bobby Cryer, who's a guitarist and a singer. We've collaborated together with uh, some of our friends in Boston and all the way over in Scotland. Also with Molly Parton, who's a singer-songwriter. And I've also recorded a few things with my friend, Mac Metter, who I knew in Austin who is another singer-songwriter. I've really enjoyed the collaborative aspect of those recording projects. Of course, recording in person would be ideal, but still, it's cool to see what everyone contributes to each recording and what the end musical result ends up being. And I also teach uh, pretty much all the time. So even over uh, COVID and lockdown and everything, I've um, been teaching online. I really enjoy teaching. It's always inspiring and I always learn a lot from the process of sharing what I know. Right now I'm practicing for um, two upcoming concerts. One is going to be a backyard concert with my wife and we're super excited because we haven't played an in-person concert since March. So we're really excited to play for people face to face, um, safely outside. And then we're doing the same program virtually online, uh, another live stream concert a couple days after that. So I'm working on a piece by Benjamin Britten, a piece by Ernest Bloch, 
and our duet together is a oboe sonata by Telemann. Thank you. 